Welcome back to another episode of Seven Pounds Go to the Movies. This is another Throwback Thursday review, and today I'll be reviewing the movie Little Shop of Horrors from 1986. And just a fair warning, there's going to be spoilers up ahead, so you've been warned. A nerdy florist finds his chance for success and romance with the help from a giant man eating plant who demands to be fed. So let's begin with my first pro. The director of this film is Frank Oz, famous for being the voice of Muppets like Miss Piggy, Bird, Grover, Cookie Monster, and also Yoda from Star Wars. He has also directed many famous films and worked with many comedians in those films we have reviewed his film dirty rotten scoundrels who has steve martin in it and also in this film but this one came first next pro would be the cast we have rick moranis who played seymour who was also in the ghostbusters movie from 1984 next would be ellen green who played audrey vincent gardenia who played the store owner mushnick the singing trio tisha campbell tichina arnold and michelle weeks who played chiffon crystal and rosanette respectfully next would be steve martin who played orin the dentist and then comes the cameo John Canny, Jim Belushi, and Bill Murray. So let's focus one second on Bill Murray and Steve Martin's character and their scene together. That scene is what I wanted to see from Bill Murray in the new Ghostbusters movie. This scene in this film was pure comedy and it was well done by Bill Murray and Steve Martin and Bill Murray added most of his parts. The rest of the cast was amazing since it's based off a play. They did find the right balance between film and play. Next pro, let's talk about this film was originally based off the 1960s film by the same name which by the way is available to watch for free on YouTube. Afterwards that film was adapted into play by the same name and then it was made into this film. What is interesting about this is that they kept the same actress who played Audrey from the plays which was a good idea because when most people think Little Shop of Horrors they think the plant and Seymour or Audrey. But the next fact is that this film has two different endings and depending on which one you saw first you might have not seen the other. In theaters you saw a happy ending in which Seymour and Audrey killed the plant and they get married but this was not the ending that Frank Oz made originally and due to a test group they had to scrap the original one in which the plant killed Audrey and Seymour then took over the US with a massive plant based invasion. So which one did you see first and if you've seen both which one did you prefer and why? Leave your comments down below. Next pro. Since it's a musical I gotta say musical numbers make the movie. Just like Grease we got the play before the film. Fans will know of the play if not from being on stage then from being done by their school and then if so they will be familiar with at least a few songs from the play and most people can recite the first lines from suddenly Seymour, the dentist, Skid Row, Somewhere That's Green or even Mean Green Mother from Outer Space. And that is a good thing that they kept the songs from the play in this film. Yes they did have to omit some but it was due to the length of the film but still it seems to me that it's still one to one if you ask me. And now on to my cons. So back to the topic of which version did you see? Was it the one in theaters or the blu-ray version of the director's cut? You might like one over the other and there is no chance of changing your mind. And some people will not even want to see the other version because depending when they originally saw it, they might think that it's too late or too old to revisit this film. This is not a real con unless you aren't willing to open up just like Audrey 2 when she needs to be fed to entertain the idea of watching the other ending because that way you might see Jim Belushi or Paul Dooley as Patrick Martin, which is two actors playing the same person but depending on which ending, you'll see one or the other. And that had to be done because of the reshoot and the availability of Jim Belushi. Next partial con, Ellen Green's Audrey high pitched voice. That is what some viewers will focus mostly on, but that is what makes the character stand out and even more in the songs. Just like Frenchie from the movie Grease and her voice is what made that character and it made it unique. In this film is the same thing, but hey, if viewers see it as a con, at least they watch the film and they listen to it. And I hope that they at least like something out of this film. So this is why it's a partial con. Next con, we have to be how the original Frank Oz ending that was cut due to some test audience decided that it was not the ideal happy ending they wanted. Also the original ending had a big price. They spent a lot of money shooting the ending and it was a shame that it had to be left behind hidden to wither away and die until the release of the Blu-ray came out. And in that version it included the original fully restored ending in full color for everybody to enjoy and also the ending that came out in theaters. So now you have a chance to watch both and make up your mind. Which I still think they could have done back in the day by having some places show ending A one weekend and then showing ending B on another weekend. This way you get to see Jim Belushi and Paul Dooley and then you decide which actor did it better. It is true that the original ending is from the play and also in the film it is a bit longer, about 15 minutes long I would have to say. Also it has this musical number, Don't Feed the Plants. So my grade for this movie is going to be a 7.5 out of 10. So depending on what version you decided to watch first, you will get one of two endings. But most of the well-known songs will be there, from Skid Row to Suddenly Seymour and the acting 
is great, especially from Ellen Green, due to her actually being in the play, she knows how to act and express her acting through facial expressions, which to some will seem a little bit over the top, but in a way it works. Then her voice, even if it's high pitch, also works. Then you have the cameos from Bill Murray, Jim Belushi, and others. And that is just icing on the cake. But some of the cons will lie with the viewers, and they are valid. But that doesn't mean that the film is bad, since it stands along others like Grease, Singing in the Rain, and other musical films. Also, the film's cautionary tale is about consumerism and how one thing can or will take over a country as a new trend, or maybe the world. Just something that is relevant to society and how they place value on certain things that can be harmful to others. So that does it for this review of Little Shop of Horrors from 1986. Please join us next time where we're going to review Tombstone. All right, Clinton, you called down the thunder. Well, now you got it. You see that? It says United States Marshal. Why? Please don't kill me. Please. Take a good look at him, Mike, because that's how you're going to end up. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can find our social media links below. And like always, keep watching movies.